Hello, I'm Nari Monferverdin, president of Stevens Institute of Technology. At the conclusion of yet another outstanding semester, I'd like to invite you to share in some of the major accomplishments from a university on the rise. A record $16 million five-year contract from the Department of Defense will extend the important work of the Systems Engineering Research Center, a consortium of more than 20 universities led by Stevens, addressing challenges that face the nation's defense and intelligence communities. I am pleased to report that New Jersey Governor Chris Christie visited Stevens in October to celebrate seven and a quarter million in state funding for the launch of two new IT infrastructure projects that will dramatically transform teaching and learning on our campus. In his speech, Governor Christie lauded Stevens' past and future impact on New Jersey's economy and our success in preparing students for the high-tech jobs of the future. And I'm incredibly proud of our students' fourth place finish among all international universities and second place among the United States universities in the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon. This prestigious competition challenges universities to design, build, and operate solar-powered houses that are cost-effective, energy-efficient, and attractive. Stevens Zero Net Energy Smart House is an unbelievable achievement that will live on forever as a veteran center at California State University, San Marcos. And Stevens' global footprint is thriving as well. Supported by a grant from the National Science Foundation, Dean Michael Bruno led an intensive research and fieldwork program in Brazil to advance scientific knowledge of environmental conditions in coastal regions. Meanwhile, Stevens' professor Len Imus helped design New Zealand's America's Cup sailboat, which finished second in the world's most famous yachting competition. Closer to home, numerous Stevens researchers are involved in efforts to mitigate the impact of natural disasters like Hurricane Sand. They're shaping policy discussions around climate and extreme weather issues by lending expertise to federal and regional proposals and leading partnerships on infrastructure resilience. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office issued four patents to Stevens researchers for inventions related to improving spinal surgery outcomes, helping corporations implement high potential ideas, advancing HIV treatment, and improving transmission of high bandwidth data. We also licensed a new technology in passive acoustic detection systems that facilitates harbor surveillance to detect, track, and classify vessels, swimmers, and divers from a distance. Finally, our campus has benefited from stimulating discussions such as one by MIT professor and renowned energy expert, Dr. John Deutsch, who spoke in the President's Distinguished Lecture Series on the technical, economic, geopolitical, and environmental aspects of new energy technologies such as hydraulic fracture. National Coordinator of Health IT, Dr. Farzad Mustashari, American Bureau of Shipping CEO, Christopher Wiernicke, and Nixon CEO, Dr. Parag Pruthi, also came to campus to explore issues such as healthcare innovation, energy innovation, and cybersecurity. Other highlights include our number three ranking in the nation by pay scale for mid-career salaries of graduates, another evidence of the outstanding value of a Stevens education. Stevens also ranked number seven in the nation for production of STEM degrees, according to U.S. News and World Report. In addition, our undergraduate engineering management program was named the best in the nation. For the second time, Stevens Scholar Athletes were named Eastern College Athletic Conference Institution of the Year out of more than 300 Division I, II, and three universities across the nation. This prestigious award recognizes universities with the highest standards of both academic and athletic performance. Let me offer my heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you for your role in Stevens' remarkable progress. I look forward to working with you in the new year as we continue to establish Stevens as a world-class technological university. Until then, happy holidays and happy new year.